Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 221. Welcome. Okay, so let's just dive in. I'll show you what I got done for this week. Okay, so finished object number one is the Among Us character that I've been working on. I have to make two of these, and so this is the first one. Then I have to make a purple one, and these are going to go to my great nephew and my great niece, okay, for Christmas. And so I um, got this one finished. I think last week I had the body and the oxygen tank done, and so I just had to make the visor and stitch it on and stuff it. So anyway, this one is finished. I will put it in a box that I have uh, that I need to start collecting uh, Christmas gifts. So this will be the first one. <laughs> so anyway, here is finished object number one, and I will link in below in the description box uh, where you can get this. I don't remember. I didn't write down the uh, designer on it. Um, no, I didn't, but I will put it below where you can download it for free, the pattern, okay? Okay, so that was finished object number one. Finished object number two is the bunny rattle. Now this is the second one that I've made. I made a I made one previously for my grandbaby and so this one is the second one and this one I made for a little girl. <laughs> um, the first one was for my grandbaby who is a boy. <laughs> so this is the first one for a girl and same pattern. I just used a different color yarn. This is I love this cotton uh, in some sort of tan color. I don't remember the name. <laughs> and this is some pink cotton that I was that somebody sent me in a crochet swap. Yeah, it's crochet swap. Yeah, that's what it was, I think. <laughs> anyway, it was around Valentine's Day, and she sent me a lot of pink stuff. And so thank you, Tammy, uh, for that. Um, it was a perfect color to use for these bunny rattles. So this is, will be for a baby gift. Uh, this is a uh, pattern from... Um, I well, found on Ravelry. Uh, I will link the website. I can't remember what it's called, but I will link the website below where you can find the pattern. But anyway, <laughs> um, like I said, this is will be a baby shower gift. This is for a baby that's due in October. It does rattle. I got the rattle inserts off of Amazon, and I can link them below in the description box. It was a set of 10, and um, they work very well. I really, I really like the way they're designed and everything. Um, so anyway, and now I have, I would like to make two more. Uh, one for a um, another girl, and then one for another boy. So, um, but there you go. I really like it, and it, it works to, together really fast. Uh, you make one leg, and then the other leg, connect them together, and work up. And the bo legs, well, not the legs, but the, the body and the head is all created together. I mean, it's one piece, so you don't have to sew a head, the head on, which is good. And then I just made sure I stuffed it really firmly so then the head won't be, wouldn't be floppy. And then the, the ears are done separate. They're real quick to make and then sewed them on. And I made sure I sewed them on really firmly. And uh, I just embroidered on the eyes and the nose. <laughs> so anyway, finish object number two. Okay. Okay, now let's go on to works in progress. Okay, so works in progress. I started another gingerbread boy. Um, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have made, uh, let's see, I made one, two, I've made three of them because I made one and sold to somebody and then I, somebody saw it and somebody else saw it and wanted one and so I made her one. Uh, and sold that one, and then I had, a, well, she actually, that lady actually wanted two. It was right before Christmas, a couple of years ago, and uh, she actually wanted two, but I was only able to get one done in time, and so she just bought the one, and so I had one that was um, partially started, you know, I had like maybe the feet and the legs, possibly, I'm not sure. No, the arms, I had the arms and a foot or something, and that was it. Well, the first lady that, that bought the gingerbread boy from me, the first one, she loves everything gingerbread. So she loves gingerbread, uh, gingerbread houses, gingerbread boy, gingerbread girls, that sort of thing. That's how it's her Christmas decor is, I, I guess. Uh, I haven't seen her Christmas uh, set up, <laughs> but anyway, she loves gingerbread and gingerbread houses, and so um, 
she had asked so that that is the lady that like i said i sold the first one to anyway she contacted me and she said can you make another one like the first one that one that i made but make it a, make a girl version and so i just took the pieces that i had already made and made a girl version that was last year right before christmas um so that was a gingerbread girl okay so somebody else a viewer saw my videos and saw the gingerbread boy and so i have an order for uh, another boy so i have started that i want to make sure i get it to her before christmas she said it wasn't in big hurry which is wonderful i really appreciate that <laughs> but uh, i do want to try to get it done before christmas so i've got an arm made so far i'm using the same color same colors i used before a cafe latte red heart super saver and so I have this, I have the thumb, I had the thumb for the other arm, and I can't remember if I have started the hand, I think so, I'm not sure, but it's down in my bag I got down here, but anyway, um, got an arm and partial hand <laughs> made, uh, to start with okay and so i will insert a picture right here of one of the first ones that I, I think the first one that i made so that way you know what i'm talking about what this is going to look like um and so here's that picture <laughs> Okay, so I love that pattern. I think it turns out really cute with the Santa hat and everything. It's really cute. And that is a pattern by Mary Smith, I think, or Mary Hand, Mary's Handmade, I think. Mary Smith, I believe. But anyway, I got that pattern. It's a paid-for pattern. I bought it off of Etsy, and I will link below a, um, a link to that pattern. But Mary Smith's patterns are, are wonderful. She's, got, she's a great designer. So anyway... That is works in progress number one is I started a gingerbread boy. Okay, works in progress number two is uh, Feel Better Friend Doll. Okay, so last week I showed you the Feel Better Friend Doll that I had finished. Mailed it off to, him, to the little boy and he did receive it. And uh, I got an email from his mom saying that they had received it and that he loved it. He thought it was awesome. Um, she said that she was going to send me some, some pictures. And I wouldn't post on here for the you know, for the boy's privacy, little boy's privacy, but, um, she said she was going to send me pics so I can see the little boy with the doll. Um, I haven't gotten any pictures yet, but I am, um, glad that he liked it. So, so anyway, I got my new assignment and the next assignment I have is for a little girl that's two years old. And so, uh, I've started her. Okay. And so far I just have arms. <laughs> the, uh, um, the last one that the last little the one I made the last time look at the, the little boy uh, it was the little boy doll it was in the warm brown color um, and so this one is in I'm making it in um, buff yeah red heart super saver buff they wanted a little bit lighter complexion for this one and so that's what I'm doing for this okay and so so far I've got the arms and I did uh, send a email to the little girl's mom and introduced myself and told her that I had been chosen to make a doll for her little girl and so um, um, I had asked her what her favorite uh, they did say in the original application that that the little girl has blue eyes and blonde hair and she's got uh, she her favorite color is pink and so I so that is wonderful I thanked her for the details so I know the colors I need to start picking out but I also sent her when I when I introduced myself to her in the email I also asked her if she had a the little girl had any type of favorite animal or favorite thing because as you remember the uh, feel better friend doll I made last time the little boy liked spider-man and so I got the spider-man um, not, I was going to say decals, not decal, the applique that I sewed onto the t-shirt of the little boy doll. And so I wanted to kind of find out what the, this little girl liked. And so she, when she emailed me back, she did say that she liked cats or that she has a cat. And she has, it's a white cat with blue eyes. And so um, I was thinking, oh, I'd like to find a, um, 
some sort of applique that I can make to put on a little t-shirt for this doll of a cat or the cat's face or something because I know exact I need it to be about one and a half inches by one and a half inches about that size um, just from what from the spider-man one that I had ordered and so I thought well I'm gonna see if I can find some sort of applique pattern maybe I could make it with crochet thread to make it down smaller well, I did. Yay! And it is a YouTube video, so I will link that below in the description box. It's really cute uh, for a cat face applique. And so I'm making it in white, and I did have the crochet thread that I needed because I needed to size it down. Now, in the YouTube video that, that she, the tutorial to show you how to make it, she's using, uh, I guess, worsted weight yarn, or, I mean, it's not thread, it's bigger. So her decal can, can, you know, comes out bigger. But like I said, I'm trying to size it down. And so I use crochet thread. And so this is what I've got so far, okay? <laughs> Let's see, can you see that? <laughs> And so uh, I measured it, and it's perfect. It's one inch, one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And so I used the crochet thread, the, the crochet number ten thread. The, in fact, it's the same thread that I use for the backpack buddies for the the braided cord that I make. And so I just you pulled off of that and used that. And so I'm making it white, so it'd be like her kitty. And I. I brought it on a pink nose, like you can see, and I've got whiskers. And so um, I'm gonna, I don't remember how, for sure how she did the eyes. I'm, I'm trying to get, the, I'm gonna try to do the eyes where it's got blue because the cat's got blue eyes. And so I'm gonna work on that and see if I can get, I don't know if I'll do, use white and black, I mean, blue and black also. Uh, for the eyes, you know, black for the pupils. But anyway, there is what I've gotten so far. And when I finished this, I, I was thinking that since it's crochet thread, I don't know if you can see that, but see, there's there's holes. And so um, I think what I may do is I have some white felt, and I may stitch this onto a piece of white felt, and then cut around it, and then stitch that onto the t-shirt once I make it for the doll. So that way she'll have her kitty um, on the front of her shirt. I thought that would be cute. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing for that. And I, I talked to the administrator of the Feel Better Friends group. They, they have us divided, depending on where you live, they have you divided up into regions. And I'm in the, I'm, since I'm in Texas, I'm in the southern region. And so uh, my administrator, I talked to her or contacted her, and she's going to send me an assortment of embroidery made, made with an embroidery machine. Um, some eyes, different colors to be able to use to stitch on to the dolls. So that's great because this little girl, Alexa, she's under three, she's two. And so I'm going to use the embroidery uh, machine, embroidery eyes instead of safety eyes. So she's going to be sending me an assortment of them. So I'll have them on hand. So this is awesome. Uh, now, one day I would love to get an embroidery machine. Um, I keep thinking about it and um, I was thinking oh if I have one I could have done a cat too but um, I think this will work out fine for now and so maybe eventually I will get a embroidery machine because they look like they'd be fun so we'll see <laughs> anyway um, so that is my um, plans for the feel better friend doll I will probably do the shirt shorts and the t-shirt like I did the boy doll uh, she likes pink so I'm thinking a solid color pink shorts and uh, little shoes I think I think I can do some little Mary Janes or something I don't know if I'll do pink ones or I might we'll see and then I've got some pink uh, variegated that's got pink in it um, back there I don't know if you can see it you can you see the um, the fun in the sun doll the one I did right there well her dress is that um, multicolored pink variegated well it's pink and green and blue you know it's called nursery as I love this yarn I thought about doing that variegated for the t-shirt and then this white um, applique would be on it but then the shorts will be a solid pink um, because she likes pink so I'm thinking that I'll do that but We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so that is works in progress number two. Big long explanation. Oh, I do want to mention that uh, another YouTuber, uh, her name is Tasha. She has a channel. I think it's Tasha's Creations. Oh, 
I'm not sure. She hasn't made videos in a while, but I will find her channel and I'll link it below so you can check her out. But she contacted me and she wants to start making Feel Better Friend dolls as well. She contacted me with some information. So she signed up to be a volunteer. And so I'm excited about that, that she's going to be joining me. And she's, I believe, in South Carolina. So she'll be joining the Southern group, which is the one I'm in. Although it does encompass quite a few states uh, for the southern region. But anyway, I thought that was fun that, that uh, she saw my video and she one of my videos about the Feel Better Friend dolls and so she wanted to get involved as well. So I think that's awesome. So anybody that wants to get involved, they have lists of appliques, uh, appliques, applications uh, from children's, you know, these are all children that are uh, have some sort of medical issue. They either ha they either have cancer or um, uh, Down syndrome, or they may be autistic. They they may have had heart surgeries, different things, any type of thing, or or even diabetes. You know, different type of conditions like that. And so uh, we have a large amount of requests for dolls and these dolls of course will go to them and uh, as a source of comfort that can go with them in the hospital and you know as a source of comfort to be with them so uh, I have been really fulfilled in doing this I really enjoy doing them and so um, if you have you know if if anybody that wants to be involved then contact me or or I'll put a link I'll put a link below of the feel better friends organization website um, so you can get more information and of course you can always email me my email address is below and you, you can uh, ask me questions about about it I'm not an expert I'm just a beginner doing it but I'll see if I can answer your questions about it <laughs> okay so let's go on to works in progress number three. Okay, so I need to do preemie hats for this month for the Halloween hat drive that will be winding up next month. So um, I, last week I showed you that I was working on the minion, the baby minion hat. Well, I'm not finished as you see, but I'm got the, I've got all the parts. So there's the eye. So I'll have to do sew that on. See. And then I have, and I had. There's a little sprig of hair that use black that you put up at the top, and I've got the little strands cut. I just need to secure them on. And then there's a little bow that's tied around that sprig, the sprigs of hair that's going to go up at the top. So let me see if I can hold these up there. There, it'd be like that. And then it'll have this little bow at the top with the little hair sticking up. It's going to be really cute. So I've got the pieces. So I'll have to do stitch it on and then it'll be finished. So that'll be a finished object next week that I'll be able to show you. Okay, so I've got that preemie hat. Um, I don't have the listing of, oh yes I do. Well, I wrote it down somewhere. Oh, I wrote it down in my other book. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description box um, from the website where this is at the pattern okay and then so I've got that one and then my next work in progress is another preemie hat now this preemie hat uh, I've just got the beanie part made haven't weave this in yet but I've uh, the beanie part okay and so this is going to be a hello kitty hat so I just need to make the ears and then of course the bow and then the rest and then stitch the face on uh, but that's what this one's going to be a hello kitty hat um, and let's see that is it that's all my works in progress and my finished object so let's go on to upcoming okay so yesterday I did my movie and stitch video for the letter R so we're we're getting toward the end uh, making good progress on that and so I showed the project that I'm working on for that collab series and so I will link that video down below if you didn't check it out yesterday when it came out um, and then I, I announced the, the movie that I'm going to be watching for the letter S. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next is also upcoming. Oh, it, so that was, yes. Okay. So yesterday was Wednesday and that was movie and stitch. So this upcoming Wednesday, okay. It's going to be the first episode of a new collab that I'm going to be starting. It's going to be taking the place of whip wall Wednesday for a while. Um, whip wall Wednesday will definitely come back because you know, there's always projects that you start and kind of set aside. I've already got a couple that I haven't worked on in a while. So whip wall Wednesday will be coming back in some form or fashion. <laughs> but anyway, this is, a new collab that I'm going to be um, doing with Rebecca of Yarn and Pajamas. I'm excited about that. It's going to be called Stitch Your Library. 
Uh, if you've been following me, then you're probably kind of familiar a little bit with Stitcher Library. It uh, Just briefly, I will say that it has to do with using patterns that you have bought uh, out of books, out of magazines, uh, maybe patterns you've bookmarked and never did them and they're on your computer or you've downloaded, bought them off of Etsy. You get them all different places. And so this um, is going to be a way of motivating or inspiring each other, Rebecca and I, and anybody that wants to join us and do it, to dust off these books that we bought and we thought, oh, we're going to make this and this and this, and then we forgot about them, and then, or, you know, you know how that goes, because <laughs> you always find new ones, you're like, oh, I want to make this one, oh, I want to make this one, and you forget about the other book that you bought and you hadn't done anything with it yet. So, <laughs> this is going to be a way of using some of those books that we've actually bought, you know, or, or magazines. I, I, um, have a subscription to Crochet World and so I have quite a few issues of that magazine and so I've got plenty to choose from as far as stitching my library. So anyway, um, stay tuned this upcoming Wednesday and you will find out a little bit more about how we're going to be doing it and um, you know more of the details. So. Um, if, if you're part of my Facebook group, then you will, uh, I've already preparing for this first uh, rollout of this Stitch Your Library episode, and so you already kind of know. Uh, so if, if you're on the, in the Facebook group and you haven't been on Facebook, go over there and check and see what I'm wanting you to vote on. So, <laughs> so anyway. Otherwise, you will find out more. You'll find out about it this upcoming Wednesday if you're not on Facebook. So, uh, this is only for the first one. After that, people that are even are you know just viewers that are not on Facebook or not necessarily on Facebook will ha have the opportunity to do some voting as well in upcoming. This is just to get me started. <laughs> okay, um, so that is upcoming, and of course, I've got more preemie hats I need to make so, because these two these two. <laughs> this is one and two and I need to do four for the month of September. I want to do four for the month of October to finish up my donation goal, but I need to get them done by the middle of October. So actually I need to get, you know, if I can get them done ahead of time, more than four in September, in other words, that would be great. Give me some cushion. <laughs> so um, more preemie hats will be upcoming. Okay. And, oh my goodness, I think that is it. Uh, last week I talked about um, my ideas for Vlogtober. I would like to do Vlogtober, I think. <laughs> and so uh, I asked for suggestions on ideas on what to do um, for Vlogtober because, you know me, I always have to have some sort of theme or something that I'm going to be doing each for each um, episode. So um, I've gotten some great suggestions. I thank you so much. So keep the suggestions coming. Um, I'm getting some good ideas um, once I get closer toward the, well, this is, what what day is this? September, this is September the 9th. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I need to start thinking about that just to give me kind of a head start of exactly what I'm going to be doing. But anyway, I appreciate all the suggestions about Vlogtober, so um, getting some good ideas. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to go. So, let's see, today is Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And um, what's for dinner? I'm going to make it make green enchiladas. If you're any, if anybody's familiar with that, it's just enchiladas, but it's um, got a uh, tomatillo, green tomatillo sauce on it. And, um, but I'm going to become making it a kind of a low carb version. Uh, it's got white cheese instead of uh, yellow cheese, uh, like regular enchiladas, and uh, sour cream, and it's really good. <laughs> so anyway, I've got the, the chicken cooking in my Instant Pot right now, uh, so that way it'll be ready and I can use the chicken meat in the green enchiladas. So that's what I'm making this evening because I have the time to do it. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day. I have a doctor's appointment. And and then in the afternoon, I'm going to be um, babysitting a little bit. So, um, busy day for tomorrow. So, I thought I'd do it today. That way we'll have leftovers because it makes a pretty good amount. We'll have leftovers for tomorrow. We'll have to cook as much tomorrow. So, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Oh, but I do want to say 
sorry <laughs> I do want to say thank you for to all my new subscribers welcome I appreciate it so very much thank you to you and also to the subscribers that have stuck with me and stayed with me from the beginning I really appreciate it and so if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and watching me as I work on all these different projects and use that yarn back there <laughs> and um, I do tutorials from time to time in fact I need to do I haven't done a tutorial in a while and I really need to so anyway <laughs> uh, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like my videos hit the bell so that way at the bottom after you subscribe that way uh, you'll be notified when I come out with a new video okay now I'm gonna really go so <laughs> we'll talk to you later guys and we'll see you in the next video bye